crisis in Tickville. John Ludy makes overly long videos that my droid doesn't want to upload to YouTube. And my favorite Wi-Fi hotspot tells me that it will take six hours to upload. So, crisis, solution, shorter videos, smaller words, less of them, talk faster. <laughs> so basically, um, I had done a bunch of little short videos uh, and posted them on my Facebook page, um, my private Facebook page, and I strung them together and I found that they were almost 20 minutes long and from my favorite Wi-Fi hotspot, I was told it would take 359 minutes or something to upload. So, ha! Not gonna, not, don't even like to do things I enjoy <laughs> that long. Um, so, I'm going to tell you what I'm doing here. This is uh, my internal insulation of the yurt. And this is my heat source. Small and humble. It's the uh, Vogelsong Boxwood Stove uh, model BX26E. It's kind of their mid-size wood stove. And upon it, to retain a bit of heat, I've put some bricks. And some bricks in the back. And I have this cool little uh, fan that basically is heat activated, takes no electricity. Uh, Amish friendly. Um, and as soon as it gets to be like about 300 degrees on the surface of the stove, it just goes around and around and around and pushes some of that hot air out from the stove. Um, other things. Well, bright, shiny stuff. Ooh, look at it. It's bright. It's shiny. It's pretty. It's sparkly. Uh, what is it? Well, it is basically this stuff that I drone on and on about called Reflectix, um, which is kind of a miraculous little substance, and I recommend it for all applications, anything, whatever. Make a salad out of it. Who cares? Anyway, this is Reflectix, and it's basically bubble wrap with foil on both sides, and you can get it in any Lowe's, Home Depot, Menards, anything like that. Uh, comes on various size rolls, and it's relatively inexpensive. Um, it allegedly has a 96% reflectivity rating. Now, I'm assuming that that means that uh, I'm just assuming, because I'm dumb and I don't over here. I'm just assuming that what this means is that heat hits it and 96% of it gets reflected right back. Um, that'd be cool. And it seems to be working. Uh, what's under that Reflectix? What is under this Reflectix um, are blankets. Thick blankets, I put like just one deep. Thinner blankets, I put uh, a couple layers deep. And that's it, basically. Now up top, that being the top, that being the side, top, side, uh, underneath these are boards or cuts of this pink one-inch styrofoam. And cut those to size and put Reflectix on top of them. But underneath those, I have more blankets. So basically, the top where most of the heat dissipates and fleas uh, is really, really, really well insulated. And then we have this. This is, uh, we'll allow that to, yeah, look at that. See those trees? Aren't those pretty? Um, I had thought about doing something more elaborate with this, where I was going to take a cut like that and make holes in it for two liter bottles to go through. But I would lose my trees. And in the cold of winter, I need my trees. You can't take my trees from me. So I decided not to do that. Because I love my trees. And uh, so basically what I did was I just took four mil painters, plastic, drop cloth, clear stuff, put it up there. And I also cut another window. And that will probably end up getting some of that four mil once it starts getting really nasty cold out there. Other things... You probably noticed that. <laughs> and you might have noticed that or that. What the hell are they? Well, what they are is kind of funny. As I was encasing myself in, uh, in foil, basically, I noticed that the 3G connection to my droid was going away. 
Um, and so what I did was I thought, you know what, I should probably cut some holes and see if that helps my signal. And indeed it did. What it did not help was heat retention. So I took some of that 4 mil plastic and basically you know, cut it long enough that it fits inside here. But I can also sticky tape it up to the top if I bake myself out of this place, as I have on more than one occasion, because I'm still kind of learning the ways of wood stove heating. And as soon as I discovered the damper, oh man, did I do terrible things. Um, so basically, the, um, the upshot of all this is I had a 28 degree evening uh, a couple weeks ago. Got a bit cold for a while. And I maintained with a very nominal fire, about an 82, 83 degree temperature in here. Um, with, like I said, I mean, a very nominal fire. It wasn't blazing and uh, stayed that way for quite a while. So the proof uh, that my madness actually has a purpose is, uh, is going to be when it gets sub-zero for any protracted period of time. And I'll do a subsequent video on that. But so far, this is what I got. Now, another interesting feature of kind of doing this, you know, uh, shell within a shell of the yurt is that I started getting condensation, uh, shocking, surprisingly, uh, <laughs> inside those vinyl windows of the yurt. And so once I totally encased this in kind of a second internal skin inside the yurt, uh, what I found was that if I open those vinyl windows just a little bit and get some airflow going up and then open the dome a couple inches, I can get a lot of that condensation out, uh, but at the same time I'm not sacrificing a huge amount of heat because of the reflectix and the blankets. So hopefully that's going to work out and I won't end up with tons of frost or or, God help me, black mold, which I'm horribly allergic to. Um, and that's basically about it. So, anyway, John Ludy reporting from Tickville, my insulation project. Uh, my website is johnludi.com if you have any interest in other things that I do besides uh, live in small dwellings and make them smaller by encasing them internally with foil. So, that's it. Bye.